Hope you're all doing well. Um, getting ready to go into uh, Lorraine Correctional Institution. Um, I formed a uh, formed a bond with a lot of the prisoners here, and uh, always always a good uh, good time when we come together and uh, jam out. Got an awesome band, and uh, so I look forward to going in and seeing my seeing my brothers in the Lord. So. Uh, Keep those and keep them in prayer, and uh, I'll be back. Wow, what a great service! Uh, I don't know where to begin. Um, we uh, started out uh, prayer, of course, and uh, went into a healing service. I'd say about a dozen inmates or so. Stood up for healing. Several came forward, laid hands on. Um, what a great way to kick off the service. <laughs> um, the band, uh, the Lorsey uh, church band, uh, awesome. Uh, I love going up there and jamming with them guys. Saw a good buddy of mine, good brother in the Lord. He's um. He's uh, thinking about uh, maybe a transfer to another prison, but um, it'd give you more freedom uh, if you got the transfer. Give him more freedom, more rec time, more uh, freedom, kind of walk around, you know. But um, he's uh, kind of uh, torn between going there and getting a little more freedom as far as. Uh, coming and going, you know, as, I don't want to say as he pleases, but, um, we're staying here in Lorraine where he's at, um, they're a little more strict, uh, but he's also teaching several classes, uh, Bible classes and ministry, and then, you know, he's already a big part of the worship service, um, here in Lorraine. I think that he spoke with someone or through the chaplains they, they spoke they said they'd really like him over in Mary in the music department um, said they're kind of lacking over there and I know that uh, I know that uh, he would uh, be a great big asset uh, anywhere he goes as far as the music goes and he's also a musician um, so uh <clears throat> you know, just pray for him that um, the Lord's leading would, uh, you know, he would be, uh, he would know without a shadow of a doubt, you know, that the Lord's uh, hand is upon him, the decisions that uh, that he has to make. He'd be a little bit closer to his hometown, which is Lexington, but um, I would say, you know, because his mom comes up. Uh, to visit here in Lorraine, she lives in Lexington. And they give him a little more, uh, be a little bit closer, but I would only guess maybe by 20 minutes. And it's only about an hour drive um, from where she's at now, so you know, it wouldn't be saving a whole lot of time. But uh, like I said, they give him more freedom uh, in the rec hall and, and uh, kind of said it's a uh, where he's at now because of the, the level of security because Lorraine's an intake prison um, so they don't have a lot of freedom just to walk around um, kind of likened it to a prison within a prison um, but like I said also he's you know he's already established teaching and and uh, you know to go to a new prison is like you know going to a new job or you know, a new neighborhood. Basically, um, you start as low man and you work up. You know, so uh, wherever wherever he goes, I know that uh, that God's going to use him. Uh, he's a great brother in the Lord, sold out for Jesus. Um, was able to. Uh, 
was able to sing, uh, or I sang uh, For a Moment, uh, the song I wrote for Ryan. And uh, I had many prisoners come up uh, and uh, comment that it was uh, freeing for them. So uh, God, is, God is amazing. God is so good. Jammed out on the harp, played with the band. Again, it was it was a great time. I took my uh, my blue CBG in and my uh, pepper shaker diddly bow, and uh, got a lot of comments on them. Uh, it was a great life lesson when you just take uh, what you have and make it into a musical instrument. You know, junk that people throw throw away. And you can pick up and uh, and put something together and play music on it. And it's a great life lesson for those that are in prison or or homeless or whatever it may be. That uh, you know those that are deemed by society as uh, you know dirt on the bottom of their shoes, basically. You know they're kicked to the curb, scum of the earth. You know what 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 some people deem as junk if you uh you can pull it out and find a use for it and uh, i think it's a good life lesson for the prisoners also you know they're deemed unworthy you know they're deemed you know the scum they're deemed you know the bad people you know how can god use you you know if you've committed you know whatever it may be whether it be murder or rape or uh, you know, thievery, robbery. Um, but God has a plan for everybody's life. And uh, you just sometimes you just have to stand still and see what that plan is and listen to God. Uh, the cares of the world sometimes uh, uh, get busy in life and get busy with the things around you. And we don't take time to uh, stop and listen to see what God has to say to us. But again, like I said, a great service. Uh, awesome time. Can't wait till we go back in there again. And uh, pray for the prisoners. Uh, I, I don't know them all by name. But, uh, but God does. And just pray for those that... Uh, that was in service and also those that didn't come to chapel, you know, because, uh, you know, going to chapel, uh, it's a privilege. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's something that, uh, they don't have to go, you know, they don't have to be in a religious service, but they choose to. And, uh, I'd have you pray for them and also pray for those that, that didn't come to chapel that don't know the Lord, that uh, the inmates that are in there that do know the Lord, you know, that they would share the gospel. They would share their life, their testimony uh, to the inmates around them. We pray that the, the, the other inmates would be receptive. You know, it's a... Uh, the uh, years I've been doing prison ministry... Um, I've met, uh, I've met every, uh, every, you name it, um, people that's in there for, uh, whether it be, uh, murder, uh, rape, child molestation, whatever it is. I mean, the worst of the worst, uh, God has honored me to be able to go in and to minister to them. And, uh, they've had a, uh, a life-changing experience and uh, in God's eyes you know they're no different you know once they receive uh, once they receive Jesus and, and salvation and, and they surrender their life to, to Jesus um, they don't you know God looks at the heart the heart of man and uh, Carl and I with both sang in uh, many churches many denominations and uh, I tell you what uh, 
I've seen, I've had the most exhilarating and the most powerful services uh, that I've worshipped in has been inside the prison system. And I tell you what, the prisoners are more free in their worship in a lot of senses, in a lot of ways, than a lot of uh, 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 Christians that, that go into a, a church, you know, in any town, USA, per se. Um, they hold nothing back because that's all they have. All they have is Jesus. Um, you can't be fake. <laughs> You know, the old saying, you can't con a con. And uh, they know. They know whether uh, whether uh, me, myself, you know, you, whether you're true, whether you're uh, um, honest, pure in your intentions. So, uh, once again, praise the Lord for a beautiful day. Praise the Lord for a great service. And uh, I'd ask you once again, I know I've, I've, I've said it many times, but, uh, keep these prisoners in your prayers. Pray for them. Because uh, everybody can use prayer. Um, I'd ask that uh, you continue to pray for me and Carla uh, in our ministry. And everybody can use prayer. So until we meet again, may God bless you and tell somebody about Jesus. It's the uh, it's the best thing that uh, best thing you can talk about, and you just might brighten their day. And who knows if you share your testimony with the world, if you share your testimony with those around you, you just might lead somebody to the Lord. So until we meet again, God bless you.